Hello everybody. So the season is upon us, at least for those of us who live in the Midwest, where, you know, leaves are starting to fall. You can see plenty of them on the ground. And you can see a bunch of crap on the ground. And look at this. Some of the trees are actually already lost. It's foliage. And guess what? A big chunk of it, for those of us who own these Panther cars, is going to end up right in there all right up in there now i was hoping to come out this morning to film this and to find a whole bunch of them all over the place so i can show you and do my public service announcement now loose leaves sink town cars right we like to refer to our cars as boats or yachts or whatever and you know lucky for me I don't have too many, so I'm not sure maybe the wind has been pretty strong, but I do have enough to kind of show you that, you know, the one or two, you know, the, the few of these little twiggy things, these are not going to do much. They're, they're not going to sink your town car or your panther car. But if you let this go, or if you, like in my case, this tree right here, this is probably what, what's, you know, it's not yellow yet. It's starting to, and obviously it's lost a bunch of leaves, and then that, that tree is actually already gone. All the leaves are gone, but luckily maybe I parked on this side, and maybe the wind carried it the wrong way or something. And look at this. Now, yeah, so like I was saying, there's no, like, amount or quantity of leaves that's really going to hurt your car, your town car, but check this out. Right over here. Right over here. This is a good one. This collection. You see this? Now, I know for most of you, this is not going to be news or anything, but you know what? It was news to me. Uh, when I first got this car a couple years ago, I had no idea that these little things, which I ignored, I ignored in, in, in all my other cars. Uh, like, look at this. This is a Honda Civic. You see how it is here? Now, first of all, it's nice and clean. There's a few leaves in there, but nothing really. This is a neighbor's car, so I'm going to not try and film it too much, but... Okay, so no leaves, so maybe she cleaned it, maybe not. But I would just let them pile on. Like on all my other cars, I had a Camry, I had a Sentra, I had a Buick. Nothing really too bad. Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> but with our beloved town cars, all right, how do I get in there? All this stuff? All right, so I have a nice collection. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow, there's like a half a tree in there. Look at this. If you let this go... And you just keep accumulating them. And, you know, it may not even happen in one season. But when it will happen... Here, let me just adjust it a little bit. There you go. But when it will happen, it's going to be too late. Ugh, because all these things right up here, all these nice holes that it's... Oh, wow. That it's filling in. It's, uh, it's going to start making the water kind of slush around in here more than it really should and i think what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to lift my wipers or or kind of have them stop them halfway uh, so i can really clean underneath there but what's going to happen is especially in this area which luckily at least for the time being i see a tiny little thing in there which i might even be able to get through here yeah you see that if you have enough of this stuff built up the water will stop draining, and especially or right over here. So there, there should be a little rubbery flap here, which I don't really know what purpose it serves. Uh, and I like how there's like exposed wiring. I'm not sure if that's the way it should be, but that's how it is on mine. And this is where the problem is going to start happening, where you're going to start seeing water inside because it will have nowhere to go, and it will backflow through this kind of pool that it should be sitting in and then drain itself out to the ground and also over there there's there's two more drain holes and it's going to start getting inside your car now so my, my mom is visiting so i can actually film this honda accord i think it's a 2015 now it's it's pretty nice and clean here but at the same time i don't know if she ever had any problems with this <laughs> no yeah she'd probably get rid of her masks from the dash but Anyway, see, like most people, they don't think about it. But ever since I actually had a water leak in my town car, I have plenty of videos on that. But mine came from it for a different reason. 
Well, one of them came from the sunroof, but that's not even related. The other one came through here. There was a separation in the plastic and the water would leak between the glass and this plastic cowl in into the interior. I don't know why. It would, it would really accumulate actually on the driver's side, not on the passenger side, which is actually very common. But actually the reason for that was because it separated right over here. And I've mentioned this in plenty of videos. You see this? This is me making an extra piece of gasket to kind of join the, uh, the, the two halves, the plastic and the glass together. All right, so let me try and get my wipers raised. And like I said, prior to owning a town car, I could not care less. I never had any problems. I would occasionally, here, let's see, I gotta be quick on that. So you see that? I'm gonna just click it a few times. There you go. Stop it halfway. I wish that there was some sort of like a service position or like a button you could press. Oh yeah, and, and there you go. There you can kind of see a lot of foliage. Oh yeah, right up in there. See that? So, this is what I do from now on. Well, for at least two years that I own this car is I spend some time and, uh, and I get rid of this stuff. Because once again, I'm not really concerned about the one or two offs like this stuff. I'm more concerned of two turning into three, three turning into 10, and then one day you come in and then this whole area is filled with water and half of it is inside your town car. And, and you're wondering where it comes from. Now, I do think it's a bad design. I'm sorry, whoever, whoever can, prove me wrong because once again I think it should be designed in a way where it's just shouldn't be an issue like like right here I don't know there's no leaves anywhere now there's tiny bit inside but nothing really yeah look nothing really here too well there's a few there you go or there's one big one yep so there you go guys this is my public service announcement I'm gonna try and post this <laughs> I'm not gonna try and post this in uh, you know in March when you don't care about this anymore but for those of us who care there you have it thank you everybody <laughs>